Few capital cities have been shaped by water as much as Tokyo. Its densely populated suburbs are crisscrossed by rivers and canals. In the 1950s and 60s, these streets of old downtown, low-lying Tokyo were the scene of a terrible disaster. A string of heavy typhoons and severe wet seasons created floods that destroyed large parts of the city. Residents who were kids back then remember floods as a regular part of life. Over the last few decades, the world's richest and largest megacity has built a new resilience against the forces of nature. A coordinated system of massive structures keeps the metropolis of more than 30 million people safe from floods without anybody really noticing. And below the ground, the scale of the engineering is stupendous, beyond anything else in the world. Even the echoes are incredible. I've come to Tokyo to learn how a city of rivers defends itself in a land of flooding rains. This is a geologically challenging place to build a megacity. A flat floodplain of soft alluvial soil, in a monsoonal climate with frequent typhoons, on an active earthquake and volcanic belt. I've joined Toru Sueoka of the Japanese Geotechnical Society for a cruise along the Sumida River one of eight running through the city. Tokyo is もう1 Tokyo has an average annual rainfall of 1,530 millimetres, more than any Australian capital city except Darwin. Sueoka-san believes that rising average temperatures plus the additional heat island effect of the city are changing the patterns of rainfall. Intense localized downpours regularly dump more than 100 millimeters of rain in an hour. The occurrence of these so-called guerrilla rainstorms has increased by around 50% over the last century. At the end of the Sumida River stands a symbol of this greater flood risk. This is the junction with the Arakawa River, an artificial waterway constructed more than 80 years ago. The original red sluice gates were built in 1924. As the need to prevent flooding has increased, so has the size of the gates. Its purpose is to divert floodwaters away from eastern Tokyo, which has allowed urbanization to spread across the lowlands and the city to grow. Arakawa 
、えー、東京540万人の方々をあの守ることができます。That this long, wide channel was excavated early last century is an extraordinary feat. It takes at least an hour travelling downstream at speed to reach the last bridge before Tokyo Bay. The rivers of Tokyo must be an amazing thing to see when they're in full flood, because it's only when you're on them that you can truly appreciate how much space and volume they have to fill. The channel is walled in concrete and lined by levee banks. Built 30 times wide as they are high. Like doorways in the levee banks, locks allow us to step several meters down into lower parts of the city. But urbanization itself creates its own flooding hazards. There's much less ground able to absorb water than in agricultural landscapes. Excess water has to be drained rapidly, but in crowded Tokyo, There's no room to build more discharge channels. Aichi Oso manages the metropolitan outer area underground discharge channel, or in other words, the largest stormwater drain in the world. この外郭水路の水路の中に入れ込んで、それをポンプで江戸川に吐くということで、目的としてはその内水被害を抑えるということで設置されている施設ということでございます。It took 13 years to build at a cost of three billion dollars. It's impressive enough what Tokyo is doing to make room for water above the ground, but it's what's below the ground. That'll really take your breath away. Down here is one of the engineering wonders of the world. This cathedral like chamber is what it takes to cope with a flood emergency. Its sheer size is testament to the scale of the challenge. Five stories deep, this surge tank is the length of two football fields. Just one of these pillars weighs 500 tons. ここはですね、あのトンネルから水がこう来ましたときに、えー、一旦ですね、ここで水の勢いを止める施設なんですね。This giant system is designed so that the tank never fills up and always discharges to the Edo River. この施設はですね、年間平均しますと7回ぐらいこの施設に流入してくるんですね。で昨年はですね、えー、多くてですね、12回ここの施設に水が入ってきたというところです。This surge tank is the largest in the world, but even this massive structure is just the tail end of a flood control system that stretches another 6.3 kilometers underground. Bypassing a low-lying basin, it connects five watercourses to the main river. When they flood, The overflow from each river drains into a series of five giant cylinders, joined by six kilometers of tunnels. Tokyo has, in effect, built a new river underground, 50 meters beneath the city, just for flood water. Powered by turbines modified from jet aircraft engines, these pumps are the heart of the system. This pump is a pump. を一秒間に出すことができるという施設で、それが四台ありますので、二百立方メートルを一秒で排水することができる施設になります。We're several kilometers upstream from the pumps and the surge tank. It's been raining steadily, and at the surface, the river is rising. More than twenty stories below is something like a submarine hatch. The scale of what's inside is overwhelming. Unbelievable. This is just one of the five giant cylinders that funnel floodwaters into the tunnels. This is just one of the five giant 
time of flood, where we're standing would be the bottom of a mighty waterfall. Water spills off the overflowing rivers above into this tunnel to be diverted towards the surge tank on the Edo River. The silo reduces the impact of crashing water by running the flow around the side in a vortex. The whole system is designed to withstand a once in 200 year flood event. After six years in operation, the artificial river of Tokyo's underworld is proving effective. And above ground, the soil excavated from the tunnels and silos has been used to build bigger levee banks along the rivers. Over the last few decades, the levees that hold back the flooding rivers have been broadened and strengthened to turn them into super levees, like the one I'm standing on now. These enormous dikes have been designed so they won't break apart when the flood comes over the top, if they're waterlogged, or even if they're shaken by an earthquake. However, the rest of the city's infrastructure, like roads and pipes, is built to a flood design standard that copes with just 50 millimetres of rain an hour. For Tokyo, the cost of floodproofing a mega city is astronomical. But the costs of not adapting to changing rainfall are a million times greater.